Okay, so what's going to happen with this thing is I'm going to pull the chassis and keep that for myself and then I'm going to yank the CRT. The numbers did come up on it a little bit after I let it uh, run at 6 volts, so it's probably just from sitting idle for 10 or 15 years a little crusty or whatever. The cabinet's pretty bad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to yank the CRT. My friend Robert needs it for a Zenith combo he has. It's got a dead one. I'm going to pull the front off of it, uh, decataract it, probably pull the speakers, and this uh, cabinet will probably go to firewood. Probably just bust it up. And it's too bad they ruined it. You know, the convergence assembly's gone. The, there's some controls up here. All these controls are gone. The uh, what was in here? I guess the VHF, UHF antenna input. That's gone. I got the chassis out, and this is kind of interesting. I don't know what this little one-tube circuit board is here. That it's pretty uh, kind of different. So of course is your video and color demodulation. Uh, sweep, vertical, horizontal oscillator, your video, your IF, but I don't know what that tube is. It's kind of different. So first step is get some something down so you don't damage the cabinet. Not that I'm not going to damage the cabinet, but and then just you know face forward. Oh boy, dust cloud. Uh, face forward down on the front. And now we're going to pull the CRT out. I guess I should title this video how to decataract an RCA style CRT. So let me get my screw gun and we're just going to yank this out. Probably throw everything away that's attached to it. So you know, first start pulling all this stuff off. Um, let's see, I see I found a model number here. Ten T seven sixty four. This was a fairly high end set. It's really too bad that it kind of got tweakified like this because this I could have fixed this and this would have been a a keeper even though it is kind of a crappy particle board cabinet. Still make a nice infant care system. So we got a Dunbar tube in here with a date of 72. Boy, the original one sure didn't last very long. Uh, which was a rebuilder here in Los Angeles, 5600 West Washington, 90016. Uh, grade B, used glass envelope, used phosphors. Uh, I like this. This tube has a straight gun and requires no ion trap. Really? A color TV with an ion trap? So, fully guaranteed. Brand new guarantee. Been replaced once. The original one lasted five years and this one sets probably 67 through 69. I don't know. Anyway, that tube is loose in here. Um, gonna flip it over and put it in the trash can. This is kind of heavy work, you know. If you can't carry a 90 pound bag of concrete up a flight of stairs, I wouldn't recommend doing this, or at least get some help. But don't do it by yourself if you can't lift a decent amount of weight and manipulate it without struggling because if you drop this uh, it could hurt you. Okay here it is upside down in a waste basket. I put a cinder block in this can to keep it from tipping over. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tape around the edge. Now it looks like I'm going to remove this one with heat. This is the RCA style. You can tell by the cracks and it's not the green halo. So I'm going to use a uh, 
heat lamp in the sun to get this off. You can see this stuff is. So what I'm going to try and do is just kind of slowly bake this off. I hope the sun stays out today. Um, I've removed them with water before. It's definitely a lot safer, but I'm kind of in a hurry to just knock this thing out, get it out of here. It's a fairly nice cabinet. Uh, hope someone can use it. Let me uh, roll it out on the curb. Don't have any more room for any more of these. Try to very gently dig some chunks of this out and I'm put some chopsticks up in here to uh, just kind of keep pressure pulling up on this. The spacing is different. I got a big dowel here. I got a pencil here. So I'm going to just try and put chopsticks all the way around it and apply pressure gently pushing up and hopefully uh, it'll very slowly kind of pop off. Okay, so instead of getting rushed and breaking this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try a slow pressure method, which is just uh, because when the CRT is in the TV, it's actually clamped down, so it's holding the faceplate on. So I'm thinking that just slow pressure, and these are pretty tight in here. I mean, I've wedged these in here pretty good, you know, but just not to the point to break it. And I've marked it. I've marked the um, points at where it's starting to divorce. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this sit for a couple hours and see if it's moved. Instead of rush it and break it, because I'm good at that. Yeah, it. There it goes. Yeah. I just don't want it to break. Yeah, but the hair dryer is not really hot enough. Okay, well now it's starting to release. I was getting ready to put it in one of those troughs in a water bath, and now I even cut the sticks off to keep pressure on it. Now it's starting to... Man, this is dangerous. I need to get my safety glasses. Okay, I'm getting close here. I'm working the bubble towards the middle. And it's... Uh, I think water is definitely a better way to do this. Because this sure is... A waste of energy. Okay, just uh, made a creepy popping sound and then came off. Uh, where can I put this and not break it? Boy, that's nasty. Boy, that reeks. Gee. So here's a piece of this stuff from the middle, and you can see even when it's clear, it's still cloudy. So uh, now the next thing is to clean this up real good. This has got to be spotless. 
Okay, well I talked to the guy that I'm giving this to and he doesn't really want the safety glass back on it. You know, some people don't put it back on. Um, so long as you don't throw a football at the screen or kick it, it's probably not going to break. Um, newer CRTs had a metal band wrapped around them to prevent implosion and the thought was that the outside had to expand out for the for the screen to cave in. I I started cleaning the old lens up and I'll just keep this. I do like the the uh, safety glass look myself but it is a smoked piece of glass and it does blur out the uh, and dim the screen a little bit. So uh, this is pretty much a wrap. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and take him to CRT and I'll just keep that for one when I break one or something.